So the AI bubble has just bursted. Countries are spending billions on AI. And the next billionaire will probably be some guy who started his AI startup in his garage. It's the perfect time to be an artificial Indian engineer. But wait, what does it really mean to be an AI engineer? I know it's not writing prompts on ChatGPT. An AI engineer is someone who builds machine learning and deep learning models, neural networks by using random strangers' photos from the internet. And no, it's not called stealing. It's called publicly available data utilization. Uh, it's totally different. Just ask any AI company. And then you got your AI model. Ready to steal someone's job. Writing code, generating images, videos, recognizing text, recommending your favorite movies and boom you can sell it at any price you want and become the next billionaire but here's the catch it's not that easy like how do you actually become an AI engineer when there are thousands of frameworks millions of buzzwords and zero clear answers but don't worry i got you bro step one math don't panic you don't need to be Albert Einstein, just enough linear algebra, probability, calculus, statistics. These nuts! <laughs> and look, it's not that complicated. Couple of hours of tutorial and you're good to go. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I scored 99% in math. Uh, not this one. Step 2. Pick a language. And by pick, I mean Python. No debates. It's simple, flexible and all the major AI libraries are in Python. Like scikit-learn. Sorry, focuses on classical ML, not on deep learning. And that's why we have TensorFlow and PyTorch, who are basically the Messi and Ronaldo of AI libraries. Like TensorFlow is great, but it can be pretty heavy on your brain. And it's a bit complicated than PyTorch, by the way, which is loved by researchers and it's very Pythonic. It does the same job, but with fewer damaged brain cells. So it's perfect for starters. Step 3. Data. Because without data, your AI is just a really expensive, fancy random number generator. Like NumPy handles huge arrays and computations. Oh, do you need to multiply two Burj Khalifa size metrics? Niet problema. Pandas. Uh, not the bamboo eating kind, like the CSV kind. It cleans, organizes and fixes your messy files and warning. When you start with AI, most of your time is spent on CSV files. Like I'm talking day after day. Week after week, over missing values and weird symbols. Matplotlib, bar charts, heat maps, line graphs are basically making you look like a smart nerd. Step 4. Training your model. Now comes the heavy part. Literally for your wallet. Because you need GPUs, giant priciest units, to train your AI models. Because CPUs are too dumb and slow. But GPUs are expensive. Like a lot of money expensive. But don't worry. I got you, bro. You don't need to take another student loan. Use Google Colab until they kick you out for overusing Kaggle Notebooks, if I'm pronouncing it right, or free student credits on AWS and GCP. Step 5. Choose your path. Computer vision. Teach you AI. To tell the difference between a dog and a human. Natural language processing. NLP. Teach machines to read the captions like you. Reinforcement learning. Teach your machines to play Flappy Bird better than you. Oh, cool. You choose computer vision. So now your AI can differentiate between a dog and a human. I mean, great. So what's next? Deployment. Use AWS, GCP or just watch a YouTube tutorial on how to do it. And remember one thing, AI moves fast. Today's hottest framework is tomorrow's history. So keep learning, keep experimenting and don't be demotivated if your model fails to recognize a human for the first 999 times. It's called training. Hope I was useful. I mean, the video was useful. If yes, then join my Discord server. Bye.